शिव तत्व ऑथर युग तुलसी पद्म भूषण परम पूज्य डॉक्टर श्री राम किंकर जी महाराज चैप्टर फोर द टेस्ट सप्त ऋषिज गो टू रेवरेंस पर सोनिफाइड उमा एंड ग्रॉस्ड इन पेनेंस एंड क्वेश्चन इन अ शॉक्ड जेस्टर के ही अवराध हो कहा तुम चाह हु आर यू वर्शिपिंग वॉट डू यू वॉन्ट एंड इन अ वेरी पोलाइट वॉइस पार्वती जी रिप्लाइज चाहिए सदा शिव ही भर तारा आई ऑलवेज वॉन्ट शिव एज माई हजबेंड इन द रिस्पॉन्स श्रद्धा और रेवरेंस गेट्स टू हियर द कलेक्टिव रोरिंग लाफ्टर ऑफ द सप्त ऋषिज हाउ एस्टॉनिशिंग इज दिस थिंग देन दे क्लियरली टॉन्टेड सेंग यू आर अ माउंटेन्स डॉटर ओनली दैट इज द कॉज ऑफ दिस फुलिशनेस टू बी पॉसिबल वाई ओनली द फादर देन द टारगेट ऑफ दियर बिटर वर्ड्स एक्सटेंड टू द गुरु हर गॉड whom she wants to attain the daughter of mountain and disciple of narad after listening to narad's teachings has any when settled down till date he is noble just to look at from heart he is a great deceitful person and wants to make others homeless too just like himself if we assume that even a bad person can inspire to attain a great goal then there should not be any objection in accepting it but even your goal is a personified abode of demerits in the words of goswami ji sunat bachan bhi hase rishay giri sambhav tab de narad kar upadesh sunu kahau base kis gaye मन कपटी तन सज्जन चीना आप सरिस सब ही चाह की ना तेह के बचन मान विश्वासा तुम चाह पति सहज उदासा निर्गुण नीलज कुबेश कपाली अकुल अगेह दिगंबर ब्याली कहो कवन सुन असबर उपाय भल भूल ठग के बार आए along with this they also present the temptation of attaining the perfect husband who could be a better suitor for you other than vaikunta patti vishnu the abode of all virtues the preserver of the world lord vishnu ajah manahu kaha hamara hum tum kahu var neek vichara अति सुंदर सुति सुखद सुशीला गा वही वेद जा सुजस लीला दूषण रहित सकल गुण राशि श्रीपति पुर वैकुंठ निवासी असुबरु तुम ही मिलाऊ बुआनी दिस वॉज अ डिफिकल्ट मूमेंट ऑफ टेस्ट फॉर पार्वती वॉट कुड बी द वर्स्ट रिजल्ट ऑफ हर हार्ड पेनेंस एंड एफर्ट दिस वॉज द टाइम वेन फॉल्स रेवरेंस could waver from her goal and abandon it but the first virtue of shraddha reverence itself was to remain undeviated not to get influenced by fears and temptations which we find holy in parvati ji's nature the person who keeps on changing his goal and means as per others directions cannot attain any date goal ever commitment or devotion is the basic foundation of accomplishment hence parvati replies without wavering am i not the daughter of mountain in your own words then how can i give up my stubborn wish gold is also born out of rock but it doesn't give up its nature even after being burned then how can you people ex- expect that i will leave my nature mahadev can be wiseful and vishnu virtuous but the heart doesn't see these things is it possible to explain who a person likes and why satya kahun giri bhav tanu eha hat na chhut chhutai baru deha kan kau puni pashan te hoi ja rahi hu sahaj na parihar soi 
without even replying to the allegations on Acharya Narad, she presents her faith with great firmness. With full resoluteness of principles, she said, I have firm faith in Narad. In Narad's words, the one who doesn't have faith in Guru's words cannot obtain success even in dreams. I cannot abandon Narad's teachings even if Lord Shiv says so. I have just one firm decision even after passing of millions of births I would still want only Shiv as my husband or else I will remain unmarried. जन्म कोटि लगी रगर हमारी बराऊ संभु न त रहऊ कुमारी इन फैक्ट द सिमिली ऑफ गोल्ड इज वेरी अप्रोप्रिएट फॉर फेथ एंड डिवोशन प्योर गोल्ड गेट्स मोर ब्यूटीफुल गेनिंग इवन मोर लस्टर व्हेन पुट इन फायर रियल रेवरेंस कीप्स हरसेल्फ स्टेबल इन ऑल फियर्स एंड टेम्पटेशंस एडवर्सिटीज गिव इट इवन brighter form in this episode one more idealistic question questions solution has been given in parvati ji's speech that is the choice between guru and the god we desire to attain ist is the goal of the seeker and guru is the one who tells the way to attain it but it is the most remarkable secret of spiritual practice that no matter how important the goal is for the seeker guru's place is higher than the goal itself in the seeking period the declaration of this truth is in these sentences tajau na narad kar upadesu aap kahi sat bar mahesu from a general view no matter how much this thing may seem weird on thinking over it proves to be a reasonable principle why a guru or acharya is needed at all because in spite of having a desire to attain the desirable we find ourselves incapable then we need one such great person about whom we are completely sure that he knows its essence and the way to attain it fully well the attainment of the goal is dependent only on his grace guru is considered to be god's form only and behind this recognition the rational that is working is that the secret of god's essence cannot come in the limit of any one's intelligence except god himself thus god himself tells the path to attain him in the form of guru in this aspect his importance is greater than the attainable in the seeking period hence the acharya or the spiritual master teaches to love the desirable it is also to be remembered that the guru who opposes the god is not a guru now if the worship desirable deity opposes the teaching of the guru then it means that he is opposing the love only aimed towards himself we can renounce everything with the order of the desirable deity ist but not of love a loyal wife can follow every instruction of the husband but not the renunciation of her loyalty here the form of dharma is very minute if the chaste woman gives up on her loyalty then the basis on which she follows the directions itself is destroyed hence to safeguard the foundation she has to essentially override the order of renunciation of the vow same is the case with spiritual practice the teaching of the guru is that foundation which joins the relation of the seeker and god the seeker would distance himself both from the ist and guru on leaving this foundation 
this very emotion is personified by parvati ji's speech this was the first test by the saptrishis which was taken before the burning of kam after madan dehan they again get an opportunity that they test reverence parvati ji wants to attain shiv what purpose is now left this is the question that the saptrishis present before parvati kaha hamar na sunehu tab narad ke upadesh ab bha jhoot tumhar par ja rahe ho kaam mahesh a smile comes on parvati ji's face here i am suddenly reminded of kalidas parvati there the story is somewhat different in kumar sambhav kaam attacks lord shiv when parvati is worshiping mahesh and past one moment of agitation kaam is burned down to ashes by rudra in front of her this burning of kaam creates too much mental distress to kumar sambhav's parvati and she condemns her beauty because she could not enchant shiv through her charm on the contrary kaam had to become the object of her wrath clearly kalidas parvati despite being out exquisite is just an outstanding protagonist of literature and not personified shraddha or reverence the parvati of goswami ji's manas is entirely different here listening to the news of madan dehan whatever she says in its response is in accordance with her reverent form only it is a deep philosophical answer full of great emotion she says smilingly that oh so it means that you all think that lord shiv has destroyed kaam now gentlemen he was always beyond lust wise free the burning of kaam is the indicator of the fact that kaam was safe as long as it was distant from him but when he tried to come close his destruction was inevitable shankar doesn't destroy him he gets himself destroyed by going near him kaam is the basis of marriage marriage signifies the recognition of dharm directed kaam but here the kaam itself has been burned and that too by the one whom parvati wants to marry i have always worshiped shiv as desireless and non indulgent if my trust is real then i have full faith that bhut bhavan merciful merciful shiv will surely accept me in goswami ji's words tum jo kaha har ja rahe ho mara soi ati bad abivek tumhara tat anal kar sahaj subhau him tehi nikat jai nahi kau गए समीप सो अवसि न साई असि मन मत महेश की नाई तुम्हारे जान काम अब जारा अब लगी शंभु रहे सबिकारा हमरे जान सदा शिव जोगी अज अनवध अकाम अभोगी जो मैं शिव से अस जानी प्रीति समेत कर्म मन बानी तो हमार पन सुनहु मुनीसा करिहि सत्य कृपा निधि ईसा सच ग्रेट सेंटीमेंट इज रिफ्लेक्टेड इन दिस आंसर एक्चुअली दिस इज द क्वालिटी ऑफ रेवरेंस इन द रेवरेंस व्हिच इज बोर्न आउट ऑफ डिजायर द प्रोबेबिलिटी इज मोर देयर दैट द वर्चुज विजिबल इन द रिवर पर्सन आर अ रिजल्ट of the tendency of greed in the presence of desire and greed the reality of falseness of the appearance of virtues is hard to find out in the words of rahim diye lobh chashma chakhni laghu bado lakhaye 
Here the concept of blind faith is also resolved. Parvati ji's answer at the time of the first test could cause the doubt. Mahadev avgun bhavan Vishnu sakal gun dham jehikar manuram jahisan tehi tehisan kaam. It appears from this answer that Parvati ji doesn't want to think over this question from an intellectual viewpoint. Generally, in different references, similar responses from many devotees have made many people try to conclude that a devotee runs away from rational. But this is not true. If a devotee doesn't debate, then the reason is that he has realized the true essence. He is beyond doubt. Reasoning and argument is the produce of doubt. When Goswami ji says that Jo jagdish tau ati bhalo Jo mahais tau bhag Tulsi chahat janam bhari Ram charan anurag This doesn't mean at all that he has an option that Ram is God or a human. He has a proper knowledge of it. Still, he closes the door for argument by this answer. At the most, someone would negate Ram's godliness by debating. He has no worry for it. He has clear understanding of the hollowness of reasoning. Hence, he says that I love Ram, be him God or human. The critic returns defeated. Here too, Parvati's answer clarifies her belief. She has greater knowledge of Lord Shiv's essence than the Saptarishis. That is why the news of Madan Dehan is neither new for her nor surprising. In her sight, the nature of Sadashiv was the same which the Saptarishis could understand after Kam's destruction. She had not expected any such hope in her visualization of marriage, which would have disappointed her. Complete reverence can only be desireless. In the first answer, the acceptance of Mahadev of Gun Bhavan, Mahadev is a board of demerits, is only an attempt to end any debate. In front of the devout speech of reverence, the Saptarishis bow down at Parvati's feet and return. Chapter 4 ends.